Hello everyone, welcome to Star Talk. I'm Sharon, a practicing solicitor in Hong Kong as well as the Vice Chair Lady of White Legal Lights, a Young Lawyers Association. On multiple occasions, the Secretary for Justice and DSJ have highlighted that the government is going to establish the Steering Committee on Rule of Law Education next year which is to be chaired by the Secretary for Justice to launch a new rule of law education train the trainers program for promoting consistent and correct messages on rule of law in the community. Speaking of the rule of law education, we have actually seen a number of initiatives which have been undertaken by the Department of Justice, as well as other legal sector related organizations, including professional bodies like the Law Society of Hong Kong, one of the notable examples is that DOJ has launched a project last year named Studio DOJ, under which young lawyers, including solicitors and barristers, were engaged to produce scripts, the contents of which are legally related and friendly to laymen on a wide range of legal topics, including discrimination, sale of goods ordinance, criminal law, arbitration, law of tort, debt recovery and so on and then subsequently lively video clips have been produced based on these scripts written. Now the video clips are accessible by public for viewing and I encourage the audience to look at those video clips if you would like to acquire some general legal knowledge. Apart from the general public, efforts should also be made to enhance the proper understanding of the rule of law to the younger generation. The Law Society of Hong Kong has an annual flagship program called Teen Talk and different themes will be carefully chosen for each year, taking into account the then societal development in Hong Kong. This program has been launched for more than a decade and in aggregate there are more than 15,000 secondary school students in Hong Kong as participants in the past 10 years. The themes are set to make the legal education more relevant to the daily lives of the younger generation. For instance, the 11th Teen Talk, which was held last week, is themed on sports, law and discipline. In view of the incidents that happened in our city in the recent years, Teen Talk, in consecutively two years, has set its theme more focused on the law abiding awareness. As such, there has been an unprecedented collaboration between the Law Society of Hong Kong through Teen Talk Organizing Committee and all the disciplinary forces in Hong Kong, including police force, fire services department and ICAC etc. since the year 2021. For two years in a row, the secondary school students were given opportunities to visit various units of the disciplinary forces and they were also provided with opportunities to understand how these disciplinary forces enforce the laws and legislations in Hong Kong. Through discussions, games and visits, the younger generation would be able to learn more about observance of law and positive mindset in a more interesting and fun manner. To mention in passing, to make Teen Talk a successful and meaningful program to the secondary school students, more than 100 volunteers who are members of the Law Society are recruited each year to assist. From the speech made by President Xi on the 1st of July marking 25th years since Hong Kong's return to China, all of us should appreciate that the central government vows to maintain one country, two system in Hong Kong in the long run and therefore maintaining the distinctive status and advantages of Hong Kong is essential. The rule of law and the common law system here in our city are definitely something strategically important at Hong Kong level as well as from the national development's perspective. I believe everyone in Hong Kong who is a faithful follower of the rule of law has high expectation on the establishment of the steering committee on rule of law education by the Department of Justice next year and we will stay tuned for more updates and news about this initiative including the train the trainer program. Please follow and subscribe the YouTube channel, TikTok, Facebook, as well as Twitter of Warm Talking. See you next time.